In this video, we'll walk you through an application called eHome. Dwellers of a smart home can control and monitor their home using an easy and intuitive uh, user interface. eHome is an application domain for a research project on Agile product line engineering. Let's talk about that later. When we're on eHome and Microsoft Surface, the first thing we'll see is a floor plan with the different areas and rooms of the house, as well as devices and containers like desks, fridges, and medicine cabinets. eHome also allows you to uh, control these devices. For example, you can turn this device off completely, or you can choose a certain intensity level. Let's try to turn it off. With eHome, you can also monitor items in containers and fridges and cabinets in the home. For example, if I press on this container, I'll see that a stapler and a book is inside. If somebody removes the stapler, it will show on the interface. If somebody puts the stapler back into the container, it will detect its presence immediately. If the user wants to change the settings or the arrangement of containers and devices on the floor plan, they can do so using one of the control panels on each side of the surface. For example, I can change the location of a device. I can also delete a device. You can also add a device, add a container, an item to a container, or add a sensor. Let's try to add a sensor. So far in eHome, we support six different kinds of sensors like a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, and a CO2 sensor. Let's add a temperature sensor. Currently, eHome is trying to support energy smart homes. For example, if we want to see the energy consumption of this house during the past year, we can see, we can look at this chart. We can go at, to see at a specific month, and then we can choose a specific day. Because eHome was designed as a product line, it can adapt to different hardware platforms. For example, it can be run on a normal PC or on a touch-sensitive HP machine like this one. In this case, you can actually see that we can control devices in, dif in a different manner. We have a horizontal slide bar. We can go all the way off or all the way on. You can also see that if I want to change the settings of arrangements, I can go to the designer mode in which we have a vertical panel and then we can navigate through the different tabs. Let me show you one more feature of eHome on the vertical screen. Users can add groups of actions. For example, they can add a new action and call this action okay. turn lights on. And then they can choose what, ha what would happen if the user clicked. Then we can add a condition that only if the wall moisture is greater than 15. So now the action says, turn lights on if wall moisture is greater than 15.